I kicked that. Everyone kicked as well. This is when you know everyone switched on. This key is going like so smooth. It's unbelievable. It kind of reminds me of pushing keys on live keys. Hello everyone. I am doing a plague fall plus 12 on my Avengers Demon Hunter. And I found a good group to kind of punt keys with. So, you know, let's keep the momentum going in general. Um, the way I like to do this pack here is I normally pull them back. Just to make sure that no one pulls additional bobs by mistake. Kick this big guy. And use meta right off the bat. You want to try and stop the, the fungal storm, which is what the lock did, which is super clutch. Because when he channels, that thing really hurts. And these guys are about to drop Sanguine, so I'm just kiting them away. They don't get affected by Sanguine. This one is in Sanguine for a while. That's not a big deal. Same thing here, we want to kill the Stormer first. By having some form of stun or something for him. I wonder if um, a Silent Sigil works, so I'm going to test it out here. I pop Meta. Just to help the healer out here, because I know there's a lot of damage incoming. Nice Chaos Nova, by the way, from the DH. That's super awesome. On the photo fight weight, you must have a stun for that uh, channel, because it really hurts. Alright, we're working on this big guy now. I'm gonna pull the side here as well. We have sufficient stun, so I am pretty okay with pulling the Stormer here. Normally, People might actually choose to skip and shroud the entire way all the way to the first boss. To skip this annoying mobs, this fungal stormer dude. Um, but we have enough CCs and stuns that I'm comfortable to pull it. Just killing it here. Right now we can mount and we can kind of skip the left and the right here. If you go down the middle, you wouldn't pull any of the mobs. Just making sure that nobody pulls. Alright. We can kind of go ham here. I potted there as well. I see my cheat death and that's why I was comfortable doing a pull like that. If we kill the mobs at the same time, like we wouldn't spawn sanguine. Getting out there. Getting a bit vulnerable. Gonna disorient them before they get up to me. Right, gonna drink it here just to stay alive. Right, the, the guy is just standing in six stacks of sanguine. <laughs> Um, this does not look like a very fun place to be, by the way. Alright, everything's fine. I'm gonna pull more mobs here. I'm gonna let them group up and then I'll do devastation here. Getting out of the frontal there. Nice stuns and fear from the priest. Oh shit, sanguine. God damn it. I let it heal for a bit. Uh, I let it heal for like, I think a few ticks there. That's not good. I'm gonna go for a fear on these guys. Alright, perfect. Working on the remaining one now. Okay. I'm gonna move him away. Away from the slimes that he spawned. Well, if he would actually move and cooperate with me, that would be good. Nice Nova from the mage. I'm gonna use my decree here. I could have... Like, there was a part of me that wanted to use my decree on the ads to pat. I guess I should do the right thing, right? Just kill the mob. We're gonna get pride full here, just before the boss, which is good timing, which means that we can use the bloodlust and the boss as well. Uh, bloodlust with the pride buff on the boss, with meta, with DPS pots, uh, everything. So I'm saving my devastation here, as you can see. I'm gonna just use my decree. That way we can go ham on the boss with our cooldowns. Right. Very soon we are able to pull the boss here. I'm even saving my trinket for the boss. Alright, I'm gonna pull the boss here. Popping my DPS pots as well. I'm gonna use meta. I'm going to use my devastation here. And my hardest hitting abilities in general. Making sure we dodge the slime wave here. I'm gonna drag him to the middle. Um that way. You know, when the adds spawn, we have a bit of room to kite. He's down to 35% health now. <laughs> and the ads have yet to spawn. It's pretty awesome. We have a warlock, which means that we can banish the big ad. So the big ad will probably spawn here if I'm not wrong. It's always the odd one out. Yep, there you go. Yeah, the ads won't even have a chance to reach the boss. Super well executed by this group. Everyone knows what they're doing. 
which is awesome. Okay, this big dude, you, I want to pull this big dude by itself. Um, and okay, the, the pet actually went to pull those guys. <laughs> Dangerous pull in general. Going to devastate here. Okay, um, you just want to dodge the fels festering belch. And those corroded claws, they actually do stack on the tank. So I'm just trying to kite these guys and disorient them, like, you know, so they can't get their stacks on me. When this big ad explode, he will spawn these little oozes that as a tank you just want to run through them. That way they don't become elites. Um, I didn't cover this in my 5 minute dungeon guide for Techfall, so it's just something to take note of. I, um, I forgot to cover it and I only realized it after, you know, the video was published. Okay! That was not cool. The corroded claws were really, really painful. Oh, I really do not want to pull the pad here. Please do not pull the pad. All right, we pull the pad. All right, my meta proc, which is not good. Let's silence that cast there. Okay, I can't get out of that. I might die here. Getting the devastation and then r running out of that. Uh, basically, devastation there, I didn't channel to full amount just because I wanted to get into meta. Uh, I knew if I could get into meta, I'll be safe. That's how I was thinking about it. All right. That was a dangerous pool to navigate. I didn't want to pull such a big pool though. But I guess that's fine. Gonna kick the gunk, those things hurt. I'm gonna try and bring it back. If not, you know, the blizzard might actually hit those mobs there. Going for a disorient on these guys. Picking the gunk. Right, moving out. Oof, the camera angle. What happened? It was super weird. Alright, we fine here. I want to pull the mobs when they're in the middle so they don't aggro those big guys. Those big guys are annoying to deal with. I'm gonna kick that. I want to do these mobs alone, ideally. Well, not now. Going for a devastation. Cancelling before quaking hits. Kicking the gunk. Dropping a brand on the plague binder here. Yeah. Alright, there's only so much corrosive gunk I can basically kick. Maybe I should go for a disorient on this guy. Oof, this is gonna be very dicey. Because I don't have aggro of that guy. It's really awkward for me. I'm gonna pot here. Someone needs to kick that guy. It's just free casting. I need to make sure I don't proxy pull by mistake. So that's super dangerous. I'm gonna tank him here. I seem to be fine here. Ouch, that hurts. Use my trinket. My trinket might have saved me there. I'm letting him top me up, else I'm dead. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go into meta here, because I need meta to survive. In the infection there. Putting a brand on the plague binder. Alright, that thing hurts. The thing, you just want to step on these things. Right, there you go. Everything's fine. Over here you can mount and just go right. If you go right, you don't have to pull the little ads, the tentacle ads that's bubbling in the water there. Those are count that is super inefficient, so you don't want that. Right. So once you pull these guys, then the little ads will come and they will explode, so you just want to get out of them. And as long as you kill this guy, he'll stop spawning little ads. Right, small ads here. These things hurt. Alright, nice nice GS and Guardian Spirit from the Priest here. She's been very on the ball with the GS usage. Getting out of there. It's being slowed here. Over here, what you want to do is you want to clear the mobs to the side, all the way to the side here. That way you don't pull the boss. I'm going to drop a Silence Sigil here, just so I can bring them all in. Alright, now they're all in this corner, perfect. And the boss spawns, there's no chance we'll pull the boss. So that's the safer way to play this um, area here. Using a trinket. I'm right, trying to move down our sanguine. We're gonna spawn the uh, prideful in just like 5... 5%, five I think. I'm trying to move this guy out, the sanguine is spawning. Alright, there you go. I'm going to telegraph my intentions by moving here, so the 
everyone um, in the party will follow me over here. See the boss? He's going to leap over to this island really soon. So we need to kick that if we can. Oof. They got trucked by... Um, the priest got trucked by the frontal there. I'll probably go into meta. Just so that we don't have to burn a B-Rest here. Gotta dodge the belch. Alright, I kick that. I can kill this big guy here. It's right not to use the B-Rest. can save the B-Rest there. I'm completely fine with this big dude. Just need to dodge belch. Have demon spikes up for swings. And you'll be okay. Decree again. You can't really see the particles on the floor. But you have to dodge there. I stepped on all the oozes. Gotta step on the oozes here. Alright. Now we're working on Prideful. So the priest is not back yet. Which is the only downside. I'm going to go into Devastation here. Just to buy myself a bit more uptime. Defensive. Um, capabilities while the priest runs back. Demon spike here, just to try and mitigate damage. I'm gonna put a brand on this guy like right now to minimize more damage. Getting demon spikes up again so I can self heal. Alright, healing, healing. I think my priest should be coming back soon. Put a silent sigil to move them. I'll move them all the way to this corner here. That way we don't pull the boss by accident. Um, I just typed for more health stones because I used up all of mine. As you guys can see from my Wikora tracker here for consumables. I finally imported it from Sha um, BFA. I used to have it, but um, I haven't really updated it for Shadowlands. Right, there you go. I have health stones again. It's awesome. All right, as long as the healer is dispelling the injection from me, I'll be okay. Which he is. Alright, as a Demon Hunter, the best part about playing a Demon Hunter is mobility. Just abuse mobility here. Getting out there. Alright, I'll let the DPS deal with the ad there. Oof. Getting out there. I kicked that. Everyone kicked as well. This is when you know everyone switched on. I'm using a meta here. Because why not? Oh man, I potted as he ran away. It's unfortunate. Right, decree here, just to kind of help out the ad. I want to try and bait the boss away. I've been successful in baiting the boss away before. Um, okay, I gotta get close to the boss now. Else he'll just free cast. More decrees here. Alright, boss is dying. Alright, perfect. And here we're gonna mount. Alright, I'm applying uh, my armor kit here. By the way, um, be prepared to spend a lot more money on consumables because you need armor kit on all these things. It does cost money. So you always want to take the left path over here because it kind of saves a lot of time. And crushing embrace went on the VD on the DH because it will always target the nearest one to him. Basically, we need eighty five percent before we head down. I think this thing's hurt, so I'm going to meta. Moving away from Sanguine. Alright, everything's fine. Alright, we need a stun here if possible. There you go, everyone's stunned. <laughs> All three stuns. The Priest, the Demon Hunter, the Warlock. I think a brand on this guy. Yeah, stun here. I think we used it all. I guess that works. Alright, stealth links have spawned. There they are. I'm gonna go for a devastation on them. Nice fear from the priest. That helps. I'm gonna go in for here and meta. I don't have aggro because I didn't have my decree up going into that pool. Nice stun from the DH. Kicking that. Using my trinket here. Are we gonna fear these guys? Prevent them from casting the ambush. Another decree here. I'm gonna chain it in here. Oof, that hurts. Nice guardian spirit. I proc my cheat death though. It's unfortunate. I couldn't pot in time. So that's unfortunate. I do not have my cheat death for the boss. 
Which is okay, because it's not a tyrannical weak or anything like that. Oh no, it's mobs here. I'm gonna try and blow them up before they finish their cast on ambush. If not, someone else might die. Right, nice psychic scream from the priest there. Doing mechanics, just awesome. We probably will get um, prideful. Yeah, we'll get prideful here. So the good news is we can use Prideful and get the buff and go into the boss with the buff, so that will be super handy. Standing in a certain position so I don't hit everyone. Okay, that guy dodged, the priest dodged at the very last moment. Alright, this guy's dying, we have the buff, let's go for the boss. Link the boss here. And my DPS pot came up on cooldown, so how convenient. Use Devastation here, go into meta. Just for more DPS. So basically you always want to stay within 6 yards of everyone. Um, that way you wouldn't get, you know, like this guy, he got web wrap because uh, he wasn't in 6 yards of, you know, people. Right, he went to get the mobs on me, which is, you know, very awesome. Not a lot of people actually know how to do that. Yeah, I got stun here. Did be broken out. Alright, there you go. All the ads are out. This boss is all about getting the ads. Like, move together, get all the ads. And the boss won't be a problem. And there you go. Super clean. One of the cleanest I've seen this boss being executed. Uh, we need 4%. Looks like we can even plus 2 this key as well. Alright, going for Elysian Decree here. And Fell Devastation. Maybe? Maybe for the next pull. Oh, I need um, just 3 more percent. Basically, on Plague 4, you need 85%. Um, 85% is the magic number basically before you head down into the next room I was able to kick that in mid air <laughs> able to kick the summon there uh, this webbing makes it very awkward though I could have disoriented it I guess you know, that was my mistake I could have interrupted it didn't think about that 85% decree here just to pat maybe <laughs> alright they're in sanguine so they're a bit hard to move all right, there you go. All right, now we can go down. This key is going like so smooth. It's unbelievable. It kind of reminds me of pushing keys on live keys. Like everyone's in sync. They know where to use cooldowns. They know where to go. Nobody butt pulls in general. It's really smooth. All right, so basically this room is quite scary on Fortified. Because you cannot face tank the ads. Like the ads, they will I think they melee really, really, really hard. Um so the idea is that you can run in and you can pad, but you wanna get out ASAP. So which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build some trap, go into meta, and run away. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna face tank them. I would love to pad, but not today. Alright, I need to kill these guys first. Alright, the Sanguine makes it a bit awkward. And the fact that they move so slow makes it even more awkward as well. I guess I can move this guy through this puddle here. Alright, everyone's working on those guys. It's unfair. Well, oh, they can't tank it, that's the thing. Okay, I pop I pop meta here. So whatever they do here is not enough of my business. <laughs> um I'm gonna swing by and kick star over here. At least it doesn't melee that hard. So I'm just gonna stand here and let those mobs catch up to me. Maybe. I'm gonna go over. Put Decree down. Go into meta. And make sure I kick the next star. That's my duty in this pool. After that, I'm kind of done. <laughs> the rest of the mobs is up to the party now. Alright, I just need to kite them away from Sanguine. So we drop them nicely. Should be fine. I want to try and drop them towards the edge here. So not so near the boss. Because we kind of need the space to do Strat Dharma. So unfortunately they have to heal up. Because um... You know. They ran through Sanguine. But the idea is that I want to try and kill these mobs towards the edge. So we have space to do um, the boss later. Just awkward. Like I can't move it outside of Sanguine, because they move so slow. 
so incredibly slow. Then we have Prideful here. Oh wait, we have point 0.1. Oh, that's unfortunate. The good news is, if you guys didn't know, you can get one mob over here on the other side. Um, just FYI. In case... In case you didn't know. But you can actually take... Um, you can talk to the NPC and go up um, again, just to pull more mobs from where we did the spider boss. It's also doable. Okay, so the plan here, I think, is to basically pull the prideful mob. Let the prideful mob come to us. I'm going to taunt it right away, as you guys can see. I'm going to stand in the corner here. Hopefully nobody kills me with quaking. <laughs> I'm going to then bring it through the entrance. That way we can maximize our buff on the boss. Right, so I'm going to backpedal as a tank. Right. I'm going to spread for quaking here. Oh my god, I almost died. Holy crap. Someone's uh, quaking basically clipped me there. I did manage to get into meta. I think that's what saved me. Fire devastation. Alright, we have the buff, so we're going ham on the boss here. Pulling right away. Popping meta as well. And my DPS pot. Alright, so tank, you want to move over to kill the malignant spawn? And basically do plate crash properly. If people would just spread, we will be okay. I want to kill the ads here. Stand in the gaps. Kill ads. Alright, more I spawn. These things do hurt. So I'm kiting. Waiting for the first batch to slam. That way we can move. Oh, that was bad. Alright, we probably have two B reses, I reckon. Yeah, we probably have two B reses. Should be fine. I'm gonna try and get to meta. Just to mitigate a bit of damage here. Yep, there we go with another B res. So this infectious rain is pretty painful. Um, you probably need a healer to do this part of the fight. I think the slams go through. Dropping decrease to just try and, you know, DPS. Again, just spreading. Quaking is super aids on this boss. That's why people keep dying. You want to use the space all the way to the back, basically. That way you kind of, like, have room to maneuver. I want to pot here just to help the healer out. I do not know whether we can actually make it. Oh no, the healer died again. That's bad. I'm going to stand near the first one. Are we going to health pot? Yep. I'm going to health stones there. Infectious Rain is killing me though. I'm going to proc my cheat death. I don't know why the healer is not taking the B res. Super weird. Thought she would have taken the B res earlier. Going to go into Devastation here, just to go into meta. I hope the healer can keep us up though. It's like 5%, so it's up to the Warlock now, I guess. And me. I still have my Cheat Death. That's the good news. Just waiting for the first one to go through. My Cheat Death have proc. Healer can't keep me up anymore. But thankfully, we killed the boss. That's what matters. I did 2.3k healing there. That's pretty awesome. Oh, and I got an upgrade. Finally, on my Demon Hunter. That's quite a big upgrade because I'm using 190 weapons and this is like a 207 weapon. So, huge upgrade. Anyway, that was pretty fun. As you guys can see, um, Frost Mage is carrying again in terms of DPS. That is MLR from our community, by the way. From our channel community, in case you guys are wondering. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And if you like the gameplay, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily Shadowlands content on this channel. Also, if you want my weak auras that I'm using, you can find them in the description below. And thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.